Hello everyone, this is Mothbot, this is the Pentacraft server, and welcome back to episode 48. So, before we get started, I want to mention that I am... I'm sorry for my voice if it sounds like I'm a bit tired because it is pretty early morning for me. But let's let's go ahead, kind of look at what we got going here. And let's just... Oh, no, shoot, I'm in the water. Get my armor. Oh, back up. Okay, let's get out of F1. And how am I gonna... Okay. Oh, yes, there we go. Alright, so... <laughs> we got pretty far in last episode. We got that whole bottom section in, and then this center bit here, and that's going to be for the water flood uh, when all the guardians drop through. <laughs> and then we also put this perimeter on here and started planning out the storage uh, unit up here. So, if I remember correctly from how I was thinking when I crafted all the chests over, over there, and there's a lot of them, <laughs> there's going to be about three blocks, I think, on each side. Two, three... And then all the chests are going to be here going in. I think that's what I did. Oh, I almost fell there. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think I think that's what I'm going to do. And I hope it's right. I hope I have the right amount. Because I really, really don't want to craft more chests. If we go over there, you can see, well, just how many I have actually crafted. It took a long time. Long time. Look at that. <laughs> it's a lot of wood. Because there's also one chest for each hopper. And then... All, you know, all the iron on top of it. Luckily, we have the Titan, because I think I'd be dead without that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty insane. So, I guess I just have to get the stuff in there. I guess there's really nothing to do uh, beforehand. We can't really do anything else until we have that. The actual farm, though, is pretty close to being done. All we really have left for the actual farm is the killing chamber, and then Corp's going to get in all the water across the top, and then it'll, you know, it'll all flow down, and we'll, we'll be done. <laughs> That's that. But, Storage is going to take a long time, and to do all the item sorting too, I don't have any of the resources here with me for that. Let's try to get through there and see. Oh, hey, it actually landed through a fence gate. I thought that was going to like hit one of them. Anyway, if you missed last episode, yeah, this is what we did. We did this little filtration system, and we're going to have to end up having signs at uh, this height here, right above uh, where this is, right here, so to stop all the water from flowing into this, and then have a separate... Oh, no! I <laughs> uh, have a separate water source here. And that'll flood all the way down. I see those slime up there. <laughs> and then that'll flow all the way down to here. And this last little 4x4 here is going to be the uh, burning chamber that's going to be lava. And they're going to drop through there. And they should die midair. And their drops should just go into a water stream. So I don't have to worry about any kind of dispensers or anything like that. But that's the plan. So I've got some work to do. Because I want to do that last. There's an endermite. I want to do that last. So I'm going to do... Oh, no, no, no. So I'm going to do, well, this first. <laughs> I think I'm going to design the room. Well, I guess I should probably plan out the room first. So yeah, let me get a few blocks in, and then actually start putting some chests in. But I don't feel like getting all of them in right now. It's going to take a long, long time. Okay, so I've marked off where the corners are going to go, and I've decided it is just going to be flat. And that means that it'll be 40 long here, 40 there, and then another 40 there. I think that side might actually be 41. I think I'm going to count that wrong. But then I'll just put the prismarine shards there, because you get a lot of those. So a few extra chests of that wouldn't hurt. But for the center, I have an idea, and it's going to be fairly expensive. <laughs> well, the inside is at least. because Well, oh, whoa. <laughs> for the outside of it, or just this ring right along the chest. The chest will be at, right here, and then the hopper's behind that. So I want to do kind of like, I don't know, like a border, I guess you could call it. And that'll go right the way along... Uh, the outside of it, so go all like this, and then through, and then I'll just fill the center with, I was thinking maybe some dark prismarine and some sea lanterns, although I'm, well, I guess, yeah, actually, because then I could do that and then bring the stuff, well, that's not center, though, so actually maybe that wouldn't be such a good idea, so maybe I'll just do this stuff and the sea lanterns, the prismarine cobble, and then, oh, almost fell there. So yeah, so I have some of these there. Oh, uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to place these. Probably just like every third block or so. I think that'll probably do the trick. So like skip two, one, oh, skip two, one, skip two, one. And that'll just go all the way around. I think that'll probably be the best. And I just lost some cobble there, but whatever. So yeah, and then the center, I want to fill it with blue glass. <laughs> so <laughs> I had originally thought about putting a guardian in it. But then I thought, well, that might that might just be way too big. Like, you won't even be able to tell, really, that it's a guardian, unless you're, like, way up there. 
like if you stood up there, which you'll end up coming down anyway, because you can AFK just fine from over here. I think actually, if you stand at the yeah, if you stand at the back, you can definitely AFK from back here. That's definitely um, a good amount of blocks away. And so yeah, I just I decided against the guardian. I didn't think that was such a great idea. <laughs> Plus, I really don't know what a Guardian looks like, and I don't want to try to do some pixel art of it in glass and spend forever on that, so that was kind of a no-go, but I think I will get a Guardian in here somewhere. Not like an actual Guardian, but like a like a pixel art Guardian, maybe staring over the heads of the chests. I think that could be kind of funny, but I wonder if this will actually come out, because if I have this stuff, this has to come like this and like this. Is that going to work? One, two, and in the corner? That might work. And then this again. Well, I hope that works. <laughs> I guess that'll that'll be fine. Well, I'm going to get the rest of this in and then see if I can start getting some blue glass. Because that is actually going to take a lot of glass. I'm not even sure how big this is, actually. This inner circle, I think, is... Shoot, how big would it be? So it's like 40, minus the 3, and... This side, so that'd be like, am I gonna? No, I probably won't do it on that side. So it'd be like 37 by minus six. It's like 37 ish by 34. So we're looking at probably over 900 pieces of glass. That's yeah, that's that's gonna be a lot. So I, I guess it's time to use my smelting room. But anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of this in, and then I'll be right back. Yeah, I had to fiddle with it for quite a bit, but I finally got this this thing laid out. I had to readjust, um, I think it was that side, so that it would actually line up correctly, because I was one block off, so now each side is the same length, and you'll see that this beam here lines up with this sea lantern here, and it's the same on the other side. That was when it realized, or made me realize, rather, uh, that it was actually off for sure, and I wasn't just counting wrong, so... Yeah, it's fixed now, which of course means I had to change this, and so it's just one skipped here now, and then it goes through, skipping two, sea lantern, and then I'll go all the way up even into here, so skip two, go, and then go over here as well. This side was a pain to actually try to figure out, but two, and then goes. So, <laughs> that's all good now. And I did discover something that makes me really quite happy, because that makes getting the blue glass for the center quite a bit easier. And if we come over here, you can see what I mean. And I'm sure you can probably figure it out, considering we're at a, a sea temple. But if we come in here... Oh, no, not up there. There we go. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Look at all that sand. So I'm going to have to count up exactly how much I need and go smelt some of that up. Um, actually, I don't even know how that got there. Maybe that's not mine. Oh, well. It's going to be. <laughs> if I really need... if it, like, it, Oh, my gosh. Words. Can't speak. If that's anybody's glass sorry, sand, uh, that I turn into glass, then of course I'll get it back to him. I have plenty of it, but it's just easier to use stuff that's already here. But uh, so I don't even know how long this is. That's like 37, 37 maybe. But yeah, I should probably count that and get some going. So I'll meet you back at my base so you can see just how much I actually have to smelt. Well, I stepped away for, I don't know, maybe five minutes, and since then both Corp and Etsy have logged on. So I guess we got kind of busy, <laughs> at least for us, but this is how much sand. <laughs> yeah, that's 20 stacks plus 16. That's how much glass I need. So that's going to be a lot of this lapis as well. At least I have a pretty good amount. I guess it's only 8 per stack, so that's like a block per stack. So that's like 20... 20-something... 20 <laughs> 22? Something like that. Or no, wait, what? 20 blocks. It's about 20 blocks. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take to smelt in here, but let's just get a stack of each one going first. I should really be using lava buckets. I think that would actually be quite a bit better <laughs> fuel source for this, but I guess I do have plenty of coal. I actually haven't checked this in a while. I'm not sure how much coal is actually left uh, in the back. And oh, skipped one there. So yeah, I still have this much left, so I guess that'll be a bit. Yeah, we got half a stack. Oh, but, alright. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to go smelt this. This isn't even going to be all the glass, because I'm going to need some regular glass. Ooh, we have actually some good amount of cyan. Um, and, yeah, so I'm going to need plenty of glass for the item elevator. That's actually going to bring the stuff up to the storage, so. 
Oh my gosh, I'm going to need more sand. I think we do have plenty down here, though. If we come down here, and actually, how much... Ooh, got a little uh, overflow there. Sometimes stuff just comes in too... Oh, can't hit the... Sometimes stuff just comes in too fast, and it it gets into here. Still having that problem, and haven't even bothered to fix it. <laughs> I guess it's... Whoa, we got a lot of arrows. Um, string down here, and gunpowder, I think, is up here. Yeah, so... Oop, did I... Yeah, I did. Okay. So, sand. We got... Sand up here. No, there's not a whole lot up there. I think red sand, wherever that is. Yeah, I got a bunch of red sand, so if I do need some glass, I guess I, I am covered. It's just about uh, actually smelting it. I see you down there. Don't think I don't die. Did I hit it? Oh, I definitely hit that thing. Come on. Oh, there's a lot of them down there. Wow. We have a lot of that stuff, too. Look at that. All these, these, are those? No. So these, these, and that. So that's it's pretty good, and considering the farm's actually technically turned off because I don't have the golems down there. Yeah, pumpkins, that was four plants, <laughs> but yeah, it's enough. So, anyway, <laughs> let's hope there's at least some glass in here yet. Oh, it's actually filling up pretty fast now. But anyway, I'm going to go smelt the rest of that, and apparently something's happened at... No! My string! <laughs> something's happened at the Guardian farm that Ezio did. I think he helped me with something I was just too lazy to do. Not quite sure, I didn't quite understand his message, but I'll head over there and see what's going on over there. Hello! Hello, what you... Where are you going? Hi. Oh, bye. <laughs> Alright, I got all the glass on me. Let's actually see what this was, because... What is this? This is new. Okay, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, I'm good. Uh, what is this? Oh, well, somebody fixed it. Oh, that must have been what Ezio did. Did? Did. Water fixed. Oh, hello. Don't hit me down. Oh. Okay. Wait, did he go down, or did... Was that Ender Pearl? Well, awesome. Water fix. Thank you, Ezio. All right, so let's start getting some glass in. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put it over that just yet, and I'm going to get rid of that before I'm actually done, but all the glass will be at this height. <laughs> That's awesome that he fixed that. So that'll be at this height, so you just be able to walk in. I like it that you can see the, see the water, and I used a color that wasn't too kind of blocking the view of the water, like changing the, the tint of it or anything, not like a green or, you know, like a red or something, so the blue, I think, fits in real nicely with the prismarine as well. I, I mean, obviously, you know, it, the prismarine is meant to look good in water, so I guess blue kind of has to go with it. But this is hopefully not going to take too long. It's just placing a whole bunch of glass, but I think this is going to start to hurt my eyes, because this is already kind of confusing me of where I have not haven't placed, but maybe that's just my monitor being a little weird with the way it blends colors, but yeah, so I guess I just gotta get this in the, and still really trying to avoid those those chests. I think I'm probably just gonna do, oh no, <laughs> do the whole sorting system, I need my silk touch pick, uh, do the whole sorting system off camera, I'm not gonna mess with doing that on camera, because that really is gonna be quite a bit of a pain. Every time I hear something noise, I feel like I'm just gonna get knocked off that side. <laughs> is that a trust issue? Do I have trust issues? No, I can't Get rid of this stuff. There we go. Alright, so all the glass is in except for this little bit here. And I'm going to get this uh, taken care of in just a little bit because I just want to finish off this glass. But I've also decided that I'm going to put off doing that for a little bit and just bang out the rest of this up here. Doing all of these chests and the sorting. And then I'll get the atom elevator in. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do this while I think of what I want to do exactly for that, but let's hop down there and see exactly how Ezio did fix it, because I didn't really show that before, I just acknowledged that it was fixed. I wish the water was still there so I could get down there quickly. Jump! Oh, right through again. So if you look at this thing, and maybe you saw it from up there, it looked a little kind of off. Um, I think this one is... Yep, so this one is now six, and I don't know why I didn't think of this when I was building it. I guess I could have just simply counted better. One, two, three, four, five, six which then makes this one 8, which means the water stops right here, and I still keep this 4-bit here, which is absolutely genius. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Maybe because I'm not absolutely genius, but I wonder if it's fixed on this side as well uh, before I get the water in. It is! Awesome! <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's awesome. All right, when I just saw a squid through there. Look at that. The squid's just, like, derping through the wall. All right, well, let's hop back up. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> hop back up here, because I think... Well, I think I've got enough chests, and if you look, yeah, it's this one, so I've got, what is that, so 17 and a half stacks of chests, that's 1120, I think, 
And I think I only need about 960 chests. So that'll be awesome. I'll have plenty of extra chests. That's like two or... No, that's more than two. That's like four extra stacks of chests. So I'll definitely find something to use uh, those for. But, yep, I've got plenty to do now because I've got to get all that stuff in there. I don't even think I have that many comparators. I have like two in a chest. Hopefully I have some quartz. I think I have some ore, which would be good. I have plenty of blocks of quartz, but unfortunately you can't turn it back into the little the little crystal bits. But, uh yeah, <laughs> I, I I just I'm trying to put this off. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm just I'm just trying to avoid. Oh, that better shoot. Is that actually gonna? Oh wait, why am I using that pick? Is that actually gonna fill? That better fill because I don't want to have to place blocks and fix the water. Okay, it does. That's good. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I guess I have to now. <laughs> All right, well, there's going to be some huge progress. Oh, that's right, this part lags. Okay, I'm going to avoid doing that. Um, or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have some huge progress when I come back with you, so... Wish me luck. <laughs> well, this was absolutely huge. <laughs> Look at all these chests. This is just... This is insane. This, this really is... A lot. Let's go back there and look at the redstone behind us because, of course, this is automatic sorting. I wouldn't do all of this and then make it manual sorting. I think, yep, we can get in here. Okay, you can't really see it from this side. If we go around to the other side, you can probably see it just a bit better. But it is your standum, standard item sorter. There, there it is. If we come out the front here, you can see that I have the shards, I believe, on this side. Crystals right there, and then the fish right there. And then I've got the item elevator right here in the middle. And that goes right down to the sea floor. It'll probably end up having to go farther. But I went with the cyan glass. I think this looks pretty good against the blue. I didn't want to use blue since I already used it right here. And then this is kind of ugly right here, this hopper line. But unfortunately, it kind of has to be done uh, if I actually want to see the drops coming up, which of course I do. And yes, this is unnecessarily large. I just dropped my mouse. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> this is unnecessarily large. It only needs to be 3x3 three three, and so it's 4x4. Four four. But... 4x4 four four was the center, so I just did it 4x4. Four four. And now, if we hop down here, we have the very last bit to do for this episode. Unfortunately, I'm not going to finish it in this one. It shouldn't take much longer uh, in into next episode. It's just Ender Pearl there. Um, but yeah, there's just some bits I need to wait for the rest of the farm to be done before I can finish. So hopefully it won't take too long, but now we've just got the killing chamber to do. I'm not going to do this on camera because this is playing with lava and this is going to be... Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's just say it that way. <laughs> but basically what I'm going to do is have where this is here, lava, and next two blocks down lava, and then some signs, and then I think a four-block drop, and then some hoppers, which is kind of what I wanted to avoid. I couldn't find a way to make them die in midair, so I'm just going to make them die from fall damage after the lava. And then after that, they will go. the items will go through the hopper into a dispenser, get shot out into a stream, and then that will hook up with that item elevator there. And then that'll actually be most of the farm done, except for the last just decorative bits after the corpse part of the farm is done. He's got to get all the water in. Oh, I have to get the water in down there, too. So, of course, I'll do that when I do... Oh, no! 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, thought I was holding shift, but... Uh, of course, I'll get that in after I get the killing chamber done. So, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm hoping it doesn't take long. It's not terribly hard, but it is playing with lava, so... I guess you never really know how that's going to go, so I'll meet up with you when that... No! When that is complete. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh. Come on, ladder. Don't fail me now. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Look at those chests back there. Let me zoom in. Yeah, you don't see them. And then you get closer, and it's just like this grand unveiling. That is... That is strange. <laughs> but I think my job for this episode is done. I got everything in, and I tested this, and it works... Look at all that water down there. And there is the lava. You can kind of see the light uh, coming out there. I'm not going to go down there now that there's lava in there. But I thought this was going to be kind of hard because I'd be dealing with lava. Oh, that's a strange light thing right there. But it actually was quite simple because I just put the lava in last. I don't know why. I didn't think of that at first. Luckily, I did before I started. But if we come back here, I got rid of the last one, the last item sorter here. So any overflow items like ink sacks because I forgot that you probably get those from this as well. Uh, those will all flow into this far left chest here. So this side is ink sacks, and then the rest is uh, the crystals on the side, and then shards and fish. And since you can only get one sort of fish, then I'm not going to have to worry about that. At least I'm pretty sure you can only get one sort of fish. I hope I'm correct on that. 
but I haven't seen any other sort of fish drop from the uh, previous farm that was here. So, like I said, I think I'm pretty much done for this episode. I don't think I have anything else to do. Now I just gotta wait for the water to get in, and then I can just put the final touches, get some cleanup work done over here, move the nether portal, and I think that's gonna be all we have to do. Maybe get a roof on it, depending on how the rates are. But anyway, this has been Mopot. Oh wait, let's get a good shot. Wait, no. Okay, this is very dangerous. I almost walked the wrong way. And I'm out.